Televisions are a great deal. They are the centerpiece of our living rooms. They are the first piece of tech to be noticed in the living room. And most important, they are a form of entertainment. You will be amused by how many people don't know what type of a television to buy and for what environment. In the past decade, one did not have to think hard about what type of a television to get. Since almost all televisions were LED, LCD or plasma. Today in 2024, television displays have evolved and consumers have a wide range of choices to satisfy their unsatiable needs. This video is aimed at explaining the different types of television displays found out there. This will help consumers make the right choices when buying TVs. As you are going to witness, there are many technologies of displays out there. For example, all the televisions get all the hype for their good picture and great contrast ratio. And again, what's mini about mini LED television? And also, what is the difference between ULED and QLED display technology? OLED and QD OLED. These panels are great for picture quality and are always regarded as the best in the market. But they are pricey. LG, Samsung and Sony have the best OLED televisions in the market today. The pros of OLED and QD OLED television panels are the contrast ratio is insanely great and the picture quality is just mind-boggling. On the cons, there is a possibility of burnout when subjected to still images for many hours. They are extremely expensive, very expensive and they are not bright enough for brighter rooms. I agree that OLED panels is the winner since the combination of brighter images and perfect blacks makes images pop in a way that other display technology cannot match. QD OLED is the new flavor in the OLED technology where the panel is paired with quantum dots. This can improve the picture quality and brightness when compared to traditional OLED televisions. Compared to OLED TVs, QD OLEDs are the most expensive of the two, but they have one major downside which is still image retention. If you're watching still images for a very long time, let's say something like watching the news where the news anchor is sitting in one position for a very long time, there is a possibility of image retention which is also known as screen burnout. These are common downsides of the first OLED televisions but today this issue is little or none issue because the technology has really really evolved. Mini LED These are more recent technology which has some advantages on its sleeve. Though not quite as good as OLED televisions, they are big, bright and with great images Yeah, when you tune them. For the pros, Mini LED can be used on huge screens. For example, the TCL QM8 Mini LED television can go up to 98 inches which is crazy big. Think of it, they also have great contrast and produce very bright images for brighter rooms. For the cons, the images are not at par with OLED technology and they are expensive when compared to traditional LCD technology. Mini LED can trace its evolution from LED LCDs. Both of these technologies use light emitting diodes to create light and an LCD layer to create an image. The difference comes in when you look at the numbers and the sizes of LEDs. The LEDs found in the Mini LED are many and quite small as the name suggests. Contrast ratio is the main issue that LED LCDs struggle with. Mini LEDs, similar to other local dimming LED LCDs, have the potential to enhance the contrast ratio by dimming specific screen areas, thereby intensifying the darkness of darker areas, making them darker compared to traditional LED LCD panels. The challenge lies in the fact that even the finest local dimming zones still encompass relatively large portions of the screen. Consequently, 
when a small bright object such as a street light or a moon appears against a darker background, it can elevate the brightness of the surrounding black area rendering it a shade of grey. This is not very good when you are trying to look at the contrast ratio between two televisions, let's say OLED and Mini LED. Despite significant efforts by engineers to mitigate this issue over the years, it endures a fundamental limitation primarily due to the constraints of physics. With Mini LED technology, a larger number of smaller LEDs are distributed across the rear of the television. In most instances, this significantly reduces the dimensions of the local dimming zone, creating an outstanding contrast ratio that appears exceptional when viewing. Almost the black levels of Mini LED when tuned can be said to be 98% of those in OLED panels. While it may not attain pixel perfection like OLED technology, it comes very close. Mini LED televisions also offer the capability to produce exceptional brighter images, making them well suited for daytime viewing in well lit rooms. Additionally, there is virtually no risk of image retention, making Mini LED an appealing alternative for gamers, LED QLED and LED LCD. These are the most common televisions in our homestead. Since they are inexpensive, LCD stands as the most prevalent display technology with OLED being a distance runner. The LCD category encompasses various subtitles such as Mini LED, LED, QLED, QNED, ULED and many 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 more. LCD TVs have maintained a presence for over two decades. This has made them solidify their status as the longest running mainstream television technology still active in production. While there has been noteworthy of advancement in terms of screen sizes, brightness and overall picture quality, LCD technology still falls short in comparison to OLED display technology. Regardless of the specific flavor of LED, LCD, they all share a common approach employing LEDs to generate light and an LCD layer to produce the actual image. The primary advantage of LED LCDs lies in their affordability. They are very, very cost effective to manufacture across a wide range of screen sizes offering a level of flexibility that other technology cannot match today. We can all say thanks to decades of advancement, even budget LCD TVs exhibit impressive display quality, often surpassing the performance of top-tier televisions from a decade ago. Many LED LCDs also incorporate quantum dots. Many LED LCDs also incorporate quantum dots to enhance both brightness and improve color in those displays. On the flip side, it is worth noting that other TV technologies can deliver superior quality, sometimes significantly. This alternative offers better contrast, richer and deeper colors, higher brightness and a range of other enhancements that contribute to a more visually striking experience for the consumers. However, achieving this enhanced wow factor does come at a higher price point. For example, when you look at OLED televisions, they are extremely expensive. They have that wow factor when you view them for the first time. Once you go OLED, I don't think you can ever go back. Hey, hope you learned something from this video and a sub to the channel will be amazing and I will catch you in the next one.